So this is uh, James, I'm gathered with Mitch, and Mitch is going to show and explain kind of what he was looking at. This is the Sony booth. The Sony E3. PlayStation booth. Well, over there is the Xbox booth, but we're not looking at the Xbox booth right now, or the Microsoft booth. We're looking at the Sony E3 2012 booth, which honestly looks a lot like all the other Sony booths, just different games. Yeah, I was noticing that it's like, this is the exact way, every time I've been to E3, this is the exact way, with exception of the Vita area, they didn't have this big... Is, this is the Vita area. Yeah, they didn't have a big PSP thing, so I guess what's different is there's a huge area dedicated to uh, the mobile gaming. Yeah. And inside there is like the... You know what's great about the, the Sony, both the Sony and Microsoft booths, uh, this is a, a tip for, for those of you who go to E3. Uh, if, you, if you have a game that you're really interested in, and it's a cross-platform game, um, chances are if you go to the actual developer's booth who makes that game, the lines are going to be really long. But if you go to the Sony or Microsoft booth, uh, generally the line is a lot shorter than it would normally be. You know what, Mitch? Yeah. That is some of the best information I've ever heard. We've got to give a... you, you had, Yeah, I, I just... we got to remember. Get all those things that you know like that together so we can make a how to go to E3 video. Yeah. That was your idea, and that's Yeah. And um, that, before what we were looking at, that was the uh, Sony uh, PlayStation All-Stars, which is the Sony Smash Brothers. And the line for it actually surprisingly was not very long. I got to play a whole bunch of it. Uh, we got to play a bunch of it, too. Yeah, we got to play some of it, too. Yeah. So these guys are all playing the PS Vita. Yeah. And over here, this is where they have, like I said, some of the the other developers games like Devil May Cry. Yeah, that was the same demo that I saw when I was at the Capcom press event. Uh, Hitman. Hitman, did you get a chance to play I that? I did not get to play it. I went I to the Square oh, I was hoping you did get to play it because I didn't five. see it either. Uh, yeah, uh, I went to the Square. I had an appointment with the Square, but the thing is we, we had two writers there, uh, me and this other guy, and I got to take on Tomb Raider and Quantum Conundrum, and he did Hitman and uh, the... Sleeping Dogs. There's Nino Kuni, which is like the, the Hayao Miyazaki or uh, Studio Ghibli video game, which no one really played. That that booth was empty a lot of the time. That's what I'm really excited yeah, about. Yeah, a little big play card. I didn't play it because the line was so long. Yeah. Um, but I really like. I liked Mod Nation Racers. It's just the load screens. Were and painful. you know what? Uh, unfortunately, I heard that the load screens for Little Big Planet Karting are pretty bad too. Well, they better fix it, or I'm gonna be very upset. I mean, yeah. there's no excuse for it. I would happily sacrifice graphics. Just fix the load times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't get to play Little Big uh, Planet Karting either. Either unfortunately. Probably because the load screens were so long, it was taking people <laughs> to play the game. Maybe. I don't know. I shouldn't complain. I, I I'm a fan of Little Big Planet. And a huge fan of Mod Nation Racers, which I think it's the same people make it, right? Oh, uh, there's Sly Cooper. I actually got really lucky. When I went to the, like, r right now there's a pretty decent line for, for Sly Cooper. Uh, but when I went there, I, I literally, there was no one on the, the demo station when I went there. So I just got immediately to jump on. There's a multiplayer God of War. Uh, they didn't have a demo for the single, single player out on the show floor. I think probably you might have gotten a demo if you were pressed and you got a... a uh, it, an appointment with them, but yeah, they had a multiplayer God of War there. Well, that's cool. Uh, I didn't get to play that either. You didn't get to play that. The no, line was too long. Yeah, the line, the line was kind of long, and I, I'm, I'm not really interested in God of War multiplayer. I'm, I'm interested in single player God of War. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never actually played a Sly Cooper game. They're Is fun. That... They're like Ocean's Eleven, but uh, <laughs> but you know, what? cartoony. How so? Because each each level of Sly Cooper has you do, doing something. To set up a grand uh, scheme, like a grand heist or something like that, and at the end of all those levels, you you actually execute the heist. That's cool. And there's Counter Strike Go. How did you get a chance to play that? No, because we already we're already in the beta. Already. Yeah, we were in the beta for, for PC. The PC. Yeah. But I wanted to see how it was on the PlayStation because you're supposed to be able to play cross platform, right? I think they took that out. Oh, those bastards! And it's this like, is th these are like the PlayStation Network games. Papa, Papa, and Yo is something that really actually interested in. I was looking it, over somebody's shoulder. It does look cool. What's well, the story? The, the story is what's most interesting. It's like, uh, it's like an, uh, a metaphor for the, the developer's uh, troubled childhood with his abusive alcoholic father. So the, the thing is that you... Ha oh, there, look at that guy. Well, that's 
We'll talk about Papo and Yo another time. This is when I was just staring awkwardly at James. Wh oh, that's me! Yep. <laughs> wow, I look good! You do. And that's pretty oh, that's much the it. end. Well, that yeah. was a cool booth. Thanks, yeah, Mitch. No like, problem. Uh, for recording. I didn't realize you caught me at the end there. You didn't realize looking at the camera? <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, when I looked at the camera, uh, but I hadn't realized that you had been recording me for a while. Yeah. So, well, I guess we can talk about Pop Up and Yo. Right Pop Up and Yo. Uh, so it's a game that it's like a it's a puzzle platformer, and you you play as this little kid who get who uh, basically visits an imaginary world that he's made for himself, where and he has this this friend uh, named Monster, who's this giant monster. And normally the the monster is really nice, really nice and friendly, uh, but the monster is addicted to frogs. Ooh, which and is like booze, I assume. Once he metaphor. starts eat, once he starts eating frogs, he becomes really violent. Um. And so the the game is about you, uh, you, the little kid, visiting or trying to find a shaman to cure the monster's addiction from frogs. That's pretty awesome. It's pretty pretty powerful storytelling. Yeah, it's a say. it's a deep subject to tackle. Yeah. It was a very deep subject to tackle. Uh, what was your favorite thing? Was that was that from your, Sony? Yeah. Um, I I I'd only say this because it's pretty much the only Sony Sony exclusive thing that I played. Probably Sony PlayStation All Stars. Yeah, I it was fun. It was fun, but uh, I don't think it's a I don't think it's a threat to Smash Brothers. But I, I mean, I'm sorry, but is there a new Smash Brothers coming out that I should? There, there is actually. I mean, not. It's it's been announced. They haven't um, shown anything. See, yet. I haven't seen anything. I didn't hear it was announced. So I was gonna say, what is it gonna be a threat to something made in the? I, they had a 2000s one, right? Yeah, I, I remember the one from Smash Brothers. Brawl was the, the latest one. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.